over there. We now move on to our speakers. We have four speakers today, and each of them have presented their students with unique learning opportunities. And I would like to invite the first speaker uh, from PPIB, Dr. Abang Muhammad Razif bin Abang Muiz. The presentation of his uh, topic will be Implementation of Appreciation of Ethics and Civilization Course among First Year Students at University Malaysia Sabah. Please, Dr. Abang, the, sc the screen is yours. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear? Very clear. Yes, okay, we okay. can hear. Okay. Very clear. Okay, great. Okay. Uh, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. Uh, thanks to our moderator for uh, this session today, uh, Associate Professor Dr. Kenneth Francis Rodriguez. Uh, our distinguished guest, uh, Professor Dato uh, Chemist Technologist Dr. Taufik Yap Yun Hin, uh, Vice Chancellor of UMS, uh, Professor Dr. Rasid Mail, uh, Deputy Vice Chancellor of UMS, uh, Professor Dr. Fong Sun Fook, uh, Director of uh, Center for Learning UMS, and all the attendees and uh, participants of this second seminar on uh, soaring above uh, pandemic challenges at University Malaysia Sabah. Uh, I would like to thanks to Center for E-Learning, UMS, for giving me an what we call uh, opportunities and a chance to deliver uh, my experience and uh, sharing here today. Uh, I am uh, I am Abang Muhammad Razib bin Abang Muiz uh, from Center for the Promotion of Knowledge and Language Learning (PPIB), a lecturer and uh, lecturer and a coordinator for uh, the appreciation of ethics and civilizations uh, course. So uh, I'm here is not to giving any uh, lecture or or to teach any of you how to teach or uh, give a lecture. I'm also new here uh, in UMS and in this field also, and hopefully uh, I'm the one who will get an output and uh, some guidance from an expert or experienced lecturer uh, that may be also join us today. Uh, so my topic today uh, for the sharing is the implementation of uh, appreciation of ethics and civilizations course among first first year students at University of Malaysia Sabah. Uh, for the introduction, uh, appreciation of ethics and civilizations study course, or what we call uh, cursus penghayatan etika dan peradaban, is one of the compulsory university courses that. Uh, uh, implemented and introduced at all public universities in Malaysia uh, by the former Minister of Education, Dr. Mazli Malik, uh, in 2019. Uh. So this course uh, is a prerequisite, is compulsory uh, for the students uh, to graduate from the university, uh, including uh, UMS. Jadi wajiblah ni kursus ni kalau tak boleh, kalau tak tak lepas ataupun tak melengkapi kursus-kursus ini uh, tidak boleh bergraduasi lah student. Okay. Uh, we have another uh, course also khusus falsafah dan isu semasa and then the asas pembudayaan kewasawanan. Uh, so khusus penyiatan etika dan peradaban ni is one of the uh, three compulsory uh, courses at uh, UMS. Okay basically uh, I show the uh, synopsis. Uh, the course prepares students to appreciate the ethics and civilizations uh, inherent in the diverse ethnic, ethnic community in Malaysia uh, to reinforce their critical and analytical thinking uh, in order to tackle a challenging life. Okay, so we move to the next. Okay, so and now uh, some uh, what we call PDP, Maya Teknetika dan Peradaban History and Background at UMS. Actually, I'm new here. Uh, before the introduction and implementation of this course, we actually have uh, three compulsory courses that offered by PPIB. Uh, here we can see that uh, all these uh, courses are focuses on the formation or uh, development of the identity of Malaysian citizens and the nation of Malaysia. Jadi ini khusus uh, fokus kepada pembangunan jati diri warga negara Malaysia dan juga kepada ni lah pembentukan negara bangsa Malaysia. Uh, so this course uh, not available for international students, only offered and available to taken by the uh, 
local students only. Okay. Okay. So this is uh, I want to share here today. This is the issues and uh, challenges of course uh, implementation since this course offered. Uh, this course uh, offered actually uh, prepared to offer uh, to students by 2019, but at UMS, uh, we offer this course to new students since uh, since 2020 and 2021 cohort lah, uh, last semester. That means that means uh, last semester was the first batch of students who take uh, this course. So the first issues. Uh, this is I think this is the common issues uh, that we all faces nowadays: infrastructure and facility. Uh, this is the survey, uh, uh, survey findings uh, from our student who took uh, this course last semester. Uh, we found that 25% uh, of the students have uh, problems uh, in terms of internet uh, access and device. Uh, usually, some of, some of us assume that uh, maybe uh, the students are from, uh, the student who uh, faces this internet access and device problem uh, from uh, rural areas, uh, but from our findings, uh, students from urban area also faces the same problem. Uh, just you know, you know, uh, ada dalam kalangan mereka ini dalam kalangan B40 and then yang uh, tergolong dalam golongan uh, apa? Orang kata miskin bandar kan, uh, miskin bandar. Okay. So uh, second one is teaching and learning methods. Uh, from the finding also almost. 65% students uh, that took this course uh, prefer uh, to take or attend this course uh, by the hybrid methods, uh, which mean a combination of face-to-face uh, -face and uh, online learning. And then 21.7% uh, preferred online learning and 13.3% wants to take this course by face-to-face -face, uh, when they have a chance to uh, chance to go, going back to campus. Lah. Uh, but for now, uh, for your information, uh, I think all of, uh, some of you know, PPIB only conduct uh, all the lecture and class by online learning, 100% online learning for now. Okay, and the next one, uh, in terms of references, uh, this is this course is a new course, and then our team now is uh, currently uh, working on the uh, course module, and then others publication uh, related to this course lah. Uh, Jadi baru lagi, jadi ada, uh, memang ada kandungan uh, from KPTs, uh, from the aspect of course content also. Uh, I think it's not a big issue because this course is a top down uh, and really we have uh, what we call TOT, a training of trainers, a workshop uh, organized by the KPT to get uh, feedback or to improve some of the course content that need to be revised time to time lah. And then uh, we also suggest, and then we have also uh, suggest uh, KPT to add an element uh, of local wisdom or uh, Bonio uh, narrative uh, in this course. Uh, so the MQA's moderate uh, auditors also uh, agree with us. Lah. Okay, and next issue was the uh, teaching and learning uh, from the aspect of teaching and learning platform. I think this is uh, the most uh, important uh, issues that we have. Uh, how how are we going to uh, deliver a lecture to the large number of students? Uh, this is uh, our our lectures at PPIB faces. Uh, we have a large number of students. All UMS students are our students. Uh, okay. Uh, last semester, last semester we have uh, around two two thousand three hundred and twenty six students. They are almost or uh, I can say more than half of uh, new students. Then uh, most of them, around 62% are preferred. Uh, and this is from my survey. Lah. From our survey, they preferred 62% uh, are preferred using uh, Google Meet uh, rather than 38% who are preferred to use a Webex. Okay. Uh, mostly, Mostly, uh, they mentioned that Webex uh, has consumed the mobile phone's data quickly rather than using uh, Google Meet or uh, we can say uh, Zoom or uh, Microsoft Teams. And then uh, we as a lecturers uh, mostly doesn't have any problem. Lah. Uh, maybe I think all of, all of us, uh, all of us uh, can 
get a uh, unlimited data lah kan. And then uh, we should uh, doesn't have any uh, problem to use both of this platform. But for me, I think uh, Webex, uh, Webex has more uh, functions and some of the uh, what we call the, the features of the uh, Webex are easier to use. And in terms of the number of participants, uh, Webex more suitable lah, uh, of uh, for the large number of students rather than we use uh, Google Meet uh, that are limited to 100 participants only. Okay, uh, we know that uh, UMS subscribe Webex and uh, Google Meet. And then I think Microsoft team also uh, UMS uh, subscribe. And then the last one, the issues and challenge of this course implementation about the uh, students' attendance uh, to the class. From the teaching reflection uh, that I got from my clicks and my uh, from my reflection, the accuracy of the arrival of students to attend lectures de depends depends a lot on the internet connection. Uh, kalau ada masalah internet tu, uh, memang akan ada lah masalah lambat masuk dan sebagainya kan. Kalau lagi-lagi kalau kelas PPIB dia mula jam 11 pagi hingga satu tengah hari dan juga pukul tujuh, ma, tujuh malam sehingga sembilan malam kan masa-masa tu uh, mungkin masa, ada ada tempat-tempat yang internet dia ada masalah. And then this one uh, we ask lah, we used to ask uh, students uh, to inform the lecture about the absent and uh, of the problem. Okay, this one I think is. Uh, more issue uh, to 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 present but i think is this, this is a uh, six uh, crucial or important issues uh, to share today and then uh, this is for sharing uh, this is our team uh, i think is harmonious i think uh, you familiar with the faces uh, they are two of experienced lecture at uh, ppib to ensure uh, the implementation implementation of uh, this course run smoothly and effectively okay uh, we have uh, I consider them as my teacher, uh, brother, and uh, sisters uh, who always give me an advice and guidance. Uh, we are always talk when we ha uh, when we discuss about the uh, problem or issues in uh, implementation of this course. We come up to uh, consensus decision. Uh, we don't we don't uh, uh, fight <laughs> to uh, to this uh, what we call uh, small matters. Okay. Okay, the next one. Okay, so this is uh, last but not least. Uh, what are the solution for these issues and challenges? Uh, we know all the issues and challenges. Uh, I think uh, for me, this is not the best solution, but still, I think it's suitable and compatible uh, with the current situation as we concern that uh, on the flexibility teaching and learning approach of met and methods. Uh, this is I've done last semester. My clicks uh, at PPIB maybe has a different methods and approach, uh, but still, but still, uh, I think we are using the same platform as I'm using here. From the aspect of uh, which platform that I choose to deliver synchronous lecture, I use both. I use both Google Meet and Webex at the same time, uh, because uh, I think it's not fair uh, for some student if he if he or she uh, can access. Webex, uh, I, we as a lecturer could uh, could give a, a, put, uh, a chance uh, for them to use a book. Uh, maybe uh, they can use, uh, they can uh, choose lah, Google Meet or Webex at the same time. So this is uh, what we call in line with our objective that no student uh, left behind while we conducting or exciting to conduct uh, an online lectures. So uh, I think it's nothing special uh, about the, the platform that I choose to conduct a lecture. Uh, so for for the example, if you can if you can see here, uh, this is uh, what we call uh, our uh, my plan uh, to conduct the class. Uh, for the example of synchronous uh, learning activities uh, that I've done, uh, such as a kuliah umum lah, kuliah umum. Uh, this one, uh, I think it's more it's not more than one hour lah. Uh, kami punya kuliah ada dua jam. Khusus ini dua jam, tapi dalam dua jam tu kalau kita saja, as a lecture, kita saja yang bercakap, kita saja yang uh, apa nama tu, uh, cerita sampai habis, I think uh, it's not ni lah, uh, efektif lah. Uh, jadi kena ada juga aktiviti lain. Uh, saya pun saya cuba uh, kurangkan juga saya yang bercakap, saya minta uh, ada aktiviti lain seperti student presentation, uh, Q&A session, 
and then uh, student feedbacks okay uh, perbincangan isu semasa current issues uh, discussion okay uh, this one is uh, doing done by uh, synchronous learning lah for the uh, asynchronous learning activities uh, such as uh, what we call uh, recorded lecture uh, also recorded lecture video problem based and uh, scenario based activity uh, continuous assessment and then uh, guided uh, discussion forum this all uh, have been done using this smart ums platform only uh, i want to simplify the student uh, we we also know that uh, many uh, apps or software we can use but i think uh, for the large number of students uh, i think smart ums is uh, suitable for this course lah okay so they know, so uh, the student uh, no need to use any many many platform to completing this course okay uh, so i think this uh you can see my slide here i think this is uh this is all i that i can share based my own uh based on my and my team experience uh from the last semester and uh we hope that we can do uh much better this semester and then in the future lah, of course okay that's all for me from me uh thank you uh, if you have any uh question i think 15 minutes i finish okay Back to our moderator, Dr. Kenneth. Thank you. Okay, we are back online. Thank you very much, Dr. Abang. We were very encouraged by your presentation. It's very clear. And I would like to congratulate you on highlighting all those key points. And I'm sure that uh, many of our lecturers will agree with you regarding the WebEx and Google Meet uh, issue because we, we are all facing the same thing. And thank you very much for the technical notes, which are very useful to us. Your survey has provided the e-learning center with a lot of technical information, which we can interpret in terms of the uh, availability of the platform to the students. So congratulations and very well done. And now I'd like to invite uh, questions from the floor. You can, if you cannot uh, use your microphone, please use the chat window. Okay, we'll have about uh, two or three questions and we will address them to Dr. Abang. Yeah, please, uh, we are waiting for the chat window. I can see the chat window in front of me here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any I think, questions? I think they, they don't have any question because this is uh, yeah. <laughs> jealous. <laughs> Very jealous. clear presentation. <laughs> clear. Uh, yeah, your presentation. So the new MS taking this course, I think uh, they they know about the, the issue and uh, the implement implementation of this course, lah. <laughs> yeah, but it's very encouraging that you have been able to reach so many students simultaneously because usually the network problem is there when we connect with too many students. But I would yeah. like to congratulate you and thank you Dr. very Abang. much, Doctor, for sharing. I think Prof Hong has a question. Yeah, Doctor Abang, thank you uh, for a very good uh, sharing and very encouraging and very motivating. Now, among the over two thousand students, do you yeah. also have uh, international students who are located overseas, and were they able to assess you? Yeah, uh, for for your information, uh, thanks, uh, Doctor Fong, uh, Prof Doctor Fong, uh, for the question. Uh, for your information, this course only available to take uh, and offered to uh, local students only. Uh, if you uh, for the international uh, students, they are yeah. available to take the courses fasafa uh, and issues masalah. Uh, and uh, I think khusus mayatan and etika dan peradaban ini uh, only offered to local students only. Uh, so we have no problem to uh, to find the uh, international students or have a problem with the international student uh, for for now. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. Uh, Prof. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, Prof. Hong. Terima kasih, Dr. Amang. Hey, thank Dr. you very Dr. much. Dr. And, I have a uh, question. Prof. Rasid. Yeah, Prof. Rasid. Yeah, please. Uh, Dr. Abang, assalamualaikum. Salam, Prof. Ah, uh, ini Dr. Adik nak tanya. <laughs> yeah, bro. Uh, yeah, bro. Abang, is there any component in your PDP before PKP uh, uh, that uh, you think that uh, cannot fully replace by uh, online? In uh, in which uh, you think this 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 component of uh, your 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 cursus, yang mana? Yeah. Uh, uh, biasanya di dalam uh, sebelum PKP you did it uh, on uh, offline basis but suddenly yeah. you yeah. do it on online is there anything that you think uh, yang tidak boleh diganti 
Thank you. Yeah, I think, uh, thanks, uh, Professor, for the question. I think the most uh, challenges on these uh, issues uh, before pandemic and after pandemic is on the, uh, what we call, uh, uh, field work, uh, in terms of field work. Uh, we have a continuous assessment uh, from the, uh, what we call research uh, essay, uh, academic essay. And then uh, before a pandemic, uh, we, we, uh, kita ni lah, kita maklumkan kepada pelajar supaya mereka dapat jalankan uh, aktiviti di luar kan, uh, penyelidikan, research, uh, field work at the, at the uh, some of the place and then uh, some of the, uh, what we call, adalah tempat-tempat tertentu kan untuk kita buat research. Tapi after the pandemic, uh, dia ada satu kesukaran uh, dan uh, their references uh, and then their uh, what we call field, field work only based on the uh, kajian kepustakaan, only uh, secondary sources only. Uh, susah sikit lah nak buat kalau kita nak kumpul data daripada kampung-kampung uh, ataupun daripada tempat-tempat tertentu tu memang su susah sedikit lah. Uh, itu dari segi penyampaian, uh, I think uh, ada jugalah kita yang saya, yang selalu saya dengar uh, roh tu tak sampai kan. Kadang-kadang kita dalam kelas ni mungkin kita ada uh, kita ada face to face kan. Kita ada uh, two way communication. Uh, two way communication. Jadi mudah kita nak tunjuk mana kita nak minta pandangan pelajar daripada duduk belakang kan. Kadang -kadang, kalau kita duduk dalam dewan yang besar uh, memang kadang-kadang pelajar yang duduk belakang tu uh, dia tak bagi tumpuan dan uh, kita ni lah. Kita senang nak tunjuk lah uh, kalau dalam kelas kan. Tapi kalau dalam in online ni uh, sometimes Kita panggil nama student dua tiga kali pun nah, tak ada ni lah tak ada jawapan uh, itu biasa saya rasa I think semua semua lecturers ada menghadapi uh, peristiwa ataupun pengalaman yang sama lah uh, dari segi itu. Tapi dari segi lain sebenarnya uh, in term of the operation of an uh, technical aspect, I think uh, there's a, there's no different lah. Uh, I think this uh, cost uh, dah dua sebenarnya sebelum ni hubungan etnik dan ini sekarang ni PEDP. Uh, sudah dijalankan secara online. So I think there, there's no uh, big problem lah. Okay. Jadi tidak ada perbezaan yang ketara sangat. Cuma memanglah kalau if you ask me, I, I prefer face-to-face uh, -face, uh, learning lah. More enjoyable and more uh, more interactive uh, and we have a, a two-way communication with student effectively lah. Okay. I hope uh, it's answer uh, Prof Rasid question. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thanks Prof. Thank you, Prof. Rasid, and thank you very much again, Dr. Abang.